brought to you by Regeer Educational Services. So in your, uh, you go to your meetings. Okay. Okay. Yeah. And then you pick Thursday's meeting. So if you've already got it set up. I haven't, but I can do it right now. Okay, yep. I should just schedule it. So we're looking at Thursday mm -hmm. at, you're saying we should. It's okay to make it 11 o'clock and we can still use that same link to hop on earlier. Okay, it, you don't have to be the definite time. No, no, you can go over. I think it might affect the recording, so I always make it longer. Um, but when we record the first part, the steps, we can then stop recording and then record again, and it will okay. give you a different file. So okay. that'll make it easier for editing. Okay, perfect. And then, uh, so you, yeah, you can save, but we can, um, if you scroll down, mm -hmm. and we want to... That's where we would set up the poll ahead of time as well, right there. It um, pick add right at the bottom right. And I just do that now just to see what that does. Yep. You can totally, yep, to add that. And then the Perfect. first line is sort of a subject. The question is at the bottom. So you can have three questions all together, or well, you can I, set I, them I up. Questions, I could do one, two, three. Yes, you can do them all together, or if you want them at different times in a podcast. You can set up one, save, and then go and add another one. So they're kind of set up as two separate ones. You can do it either way. What do you find flows better? You know, if I have polls in mind that I want one at the beginning and one at the end, I want to set them up separate. So it's only at the beginning if I have two questions that I want at the same time, then I'll set them up as one and two within that section. So that's where the title of the poll, it might be poll one or intro, you know, intro poll, and it might be at the ending survey poll that you are Could setting. Could be that I asked some, some uh, preliminary questions around, uh, are, you ha are you experiencing uh, return to work concerns yes. in getting employees back to work, yes or yep. no? Yeah. Now that yes or no is a single choice. So that's where you get right, uh, type in the answers, yes or no. Okay. But let's say, are you experiencing these concerns? Anxiety, uh, a boss is not understanding, kids, you know, working from home with kids or whatever, and you want multiple choice that they can pick more than one. So, so then I would pick multiple choice then. Yeah. Yeah, if you want them to pick more than, than one oh, answer. Okay. okay, so probably I'll see what she's comfortable with because yeah. of course we will be coordinating accordingly. Mm -hmm. And then, um, so I prob it probably makes sense then to do something at the beginning and maybe something closer to the end. Yes, and you can pick anonymous right there too. Yeah, of course. So, I, yeah, I'm just gonna, especially related to the topic. So, um, and then when you scroll down after you've added your, your title of the grouping and then the question, then it's you either add a second question right there or you save. And then you can go back in to add another poll. Okay, um, and it's a totally... Well, so long as I have it, I will... Um, can I go in ahead of time and do this? Yes, you can. It's okay, better I, to do it ahead of time. Well, I'm probably better off to do that Try once I get the questions more to yes. go on. It is all a step-by-step -step process.